Right, welcome back everybody. Today we're in the shed. We're just doing something a little bit different today. I've had these um, sharpening stones for a few months now and I just come across them in the shed. I've just found them. So what I thought I'd do is I've got um, an old lawnmower blade here. And as you can see, it's um, could do with a bit of a sharpen. So what I thought I'd do is I'd quickly just stick this in the vise and um, we'll have a go at sharpening it and see if these um, stones are any good. So let's get it in the vise and let's have a go. Right then, so I've stuck uh, the drill bit, drill stone in the drill now and um, we're just going to give it a go. It has a, a little groove in there. You can see where the flat there's a plastic hard bit on the back here and that's just like a guide where you run on the back of the blade and then that's the angle of the blade that you want to be cutting so the stone's already angled for you so it's just a matter of uh, keeping that in there like that and just uh, following it around so let's give it a go Right then, battery's just run out on that drill, so we'll change that battery, but let me bring you in here. There we go, as you can see there, it's cleaned that edge up really nice now. Then what you can do is just get yourself a file and just run this um, jagged edge off of it. So I'm gonna just get a file now, and then uh, uh, we'll take that edge off. Right, so I'm just gonna uh, file this edge now. Right, that's just took all them jagged edges off that. So I'm just going to flip it over now and we'll do the other side. Right then, so that's the other side done. And as you can see there, it's done a nice job on that side as well. So we'll just give that a Them edges off. And that's uh, really nice there. Yeah, right, so I'm really happy with that. That's uh, a nice little easy um, job to sharpen the blade because normally what I'd do is I'd um, get the bench grinder out and I'd have to set it all up and um, do it on that. Which ain't too much hassle, but it's it's easy just to because I'm looking at getting a proper vice in here. This is just um, a little one just to do this video, but I've got um, a few vices down me at Dad's house, but they're a bit too big, I think, for what I need in here. So I'm just looking for a medium one at the minute. So it'll be easier just to uh, whip one of these in the normal vice when I get it, and just uh, whiz that in the drill, and I can have that sharpened within minutes rather than having to get a bench grinder out, set that up, uh, or do sometimes use the angle grinder with the flappy disc on it. But the results I've got for that, I'm really happy with that. So yeah, I would definitely recommend them. I bought them on um, eBay, I think, if I can, or was it Amazon? eBay or Amazon, I'll look for the link and I'll put it in the uh, description down below. And you actually get um, five of them in the pack. And you also get, um, a blade balancer as well so we'll just stick this on the blade balancer to see if it is uh, balanced as it should be so as you can see this end here is actually sitting lower Mind that, actually. and that means the, that would cause you some vibration now if you sat it on the lawn mower like that and bolted it back up so that's telling me that I need to take a bit more material off of this side to bring that side down a bit so I'm just going to stick that in the vise now take a bit more material off 
and what we're looking for is to get it on an even level like that and that is your blade sharpened and balanced so as you can see I let go and it drops down to the left so let me just take a bit more material off that and I'll come back to you right then I don't know if you could actually see there now I actually had to give it three passes uh, over that and that's bought it um, plumb now so I'm really happy with that that's sitting bang on that so I'm happy that that could be um, put onto a mower now knowing it's all sharpened and balanced and it shouldn't cause any problems so I will leave a link in the description down below for this little um, set I bought it was about um, I'm going to say between five and ten pounds and that's, uh, I say, I think it was five or six grinding stones and your balancer. So that's going to last me a long time, them stones. And I'll just show you once again, it's done a fantastic job on that, cleaning that right up that edge. And it's, it's took all the nastiness out of it. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. And when you're doing stuff like that, always don't forget to put your um, safety glasses on as well. So because it you're flicking bits of metal about so just a bit of common sense at the end of the day as you can see i've still not touched the mobility scooter yet it's uh there waiting to be wrapped it's a good job i didn't actually wrap it actually because um i've had um someone been in contact with me and they want it for off of me but they've asked me if i can wrap it matte black so it is still getting wrapped but it's not going to be red like a uh, original when you one of your original factory ones that you see flying about this one's actually going to be a bit customized and it's going to be matte black the owner wants it so yeah we're going to get that um sorted so i've actually just ordered some more wrap for that so that'll be about a week or so yeah looking forward to get onto this but i say it's just starting to turn now the weather so we're in the shed so that'll be one of the jobs coming up next that and as you can see, I've got the old heater on in there because it's bloody freezing out there. And um, one last thing, I've had another mail call and I know where it's from because on the back it says all the best community Kev. So thanks a lot, Kev. Let's get this opened up. And he's actually stuck me in a couple of his stickers there and they're different stickers then, if you can just see that. So we're going to put them both on the board because they're not the same. Even though it's the same channel, he's got a different design on them, so we'll stick them both up. So, let's bring you to the board. We'll stick the first one, just there. That looks good there, I'm happy with that. I'm going to stick the other one up there. So they're just not right next to each other, just break it up a bit, so... I think I've got room for another one, two, possibly three more stickers. So if you'd like to send your sticker across and get it on the red board of fame, uh, my email's on my about page, drop me an email and you can uh, send me one across. So I'm glad I've still got some of that wrap left now because we're not using it on the scooter. So I probably will make another one of these and stick it here and get another one going. So I think we're gonna leave it here for this um, little video. Um, not a great deal going on at the minute, especially with us going into this uh, second lockdown. But there's a few little jobs I need to do. It's not going to be too much more now on the Monday, I don't think, as the weather's changing. I'd like there's a few little jobs I do want to get done on it, but it's all working outside, so it puts a hold to that sort of job. So it's just a matter of what I've got left in the shed to do. I've got the um, the side skirt jacking point covers to paint so that's an inside job so that's another job that can be done on the Mondeo and I've got a little modification that I'm going to be doing to them so you'll see that coming up in a near future video also if anyone would like to check out the Amazon wish list that's in the description down below the link for that so we really appreciate it when people um, send us stuff in and um, I think that's all I've got to tell you in this video at the minute still looking for a new channel name at the minute so keep chucking the same ideas in us i've had the odd one come in since that last video so yeah we're just trying to narrow it down now so yeah we're gonna um leave it here for this video and until next time we'll see you about